Hi, I'm Adam from AppliTools, and in this short video, I'll show you how to manage your test baselines using the world's first UI version control system. Every visual test you run is associated with an application name and a test name that uniquely identify it. The absent test page allows you to manage your team's applications and tests and easily access their baselines and recent test runs. You can reach it by selecting absent test in the navigation menu. The panel on the left hand side lists the names of all available applications and the main panel at the center of the screen lists the names of all the tests of the currently selected app. You can delete applications and tests that are no longer in use or change their name. If you rename an app or a test, don't forget to also update the name in your test code, otherwise the test will appear as new the next time it runs. For each test, you can see when it was last run, the last time any of its baseline were updated, and by whom. This information is useful to identify applications and tests that are no longer in use or to find the current maintainer of a test. From the test menu, you can choose to view the results of the last run of the test or the last run that updated the test baseline. Choosing Show Baselines or simply clicking the test will take you to the Test Baseline page, which lists all the baselines of the test in the default branch. You can view the baselines of other branches by selecting them in the branch dropdown. For each baseline, you can see the operating system, browser, viewport size, as well as when it was last updated and by whom. You can also see how many tests were run against the current revision of the baseline. Similarly to the absent test page, you can view the results of the last test run related to the baseline, as well as the last test that updated it. Clicking the baseline would reveal its steps. You can filter and group baseline by any combinations of their properties. You can also filter and group baseline steps to see how certain pages of the application look like across different devices and form factors. From the toolbar, you can delete selected tests or copy them to another branch. You can copy baseline to an existing branch or create a new one. Note that any existing baseline in the target branch will be silently overwritten. The test baseline page only shows the baseline of a single test. If you want to view the baselines of all applications and tests in a given branch, you can do so by selecting the branch baselines page in the navigation menu. Every time you update a baseline, a new revision of that baseline is created and saved along with all the previous revisions of that baseline. You can view the entire history of a baseline by selecting Show History in its menu. The Baseline History page lists all the revisions of a baseline from new to old, indicating for each revision when it was saved, by whom, the revision number, as well as the number of tests that ran against this revision. As usual, clicking a baseline revision reveals its steps, and from its menu you can view the results of the last test that ran against it, as well as the test run which created it. From your test results, you can jump back to the corresponding baseline revision via the thumbnail menu, or from the More Options menu of the Step and Test Editors. From the baseline revision menu, you can save the revision as the current baseline with which subsequent test runs will be compared, or compare it with other revisions. You can either enter the revision number of the baseline revision you want to compare with, or quickly compare with the latest baseline revision or the previous one. The Compare Baseline page will open at the first step in which the two baseline revisions differ. It will highlight differences between the baseline images as well as between baseline annotations such as ignore and floating regions. The timeline at the bottom shows the baseline steps and indicates the ones that differ in red. For the exact same reason you use branches to isolate and merge code changes, you need to use branches to isolate and merge your baseline changes. To view baseline changes between two branches, select the Compare and Merge Branches page in the navigation menu, enter a source branch and a target branch, and click the Compare button. Baselines that only exist in the source branch would appear as new, and baselines which exist in both branches and only change in the source branch will appear as changed. Baselines which change in both branches 
in a conflicting way that can't be resolved without manual intervention are marked as a conflict. For example, this can happen if different ignore regions were added to the same baseline step in both branches, or if different baseline images were updated in the same baseline step in both branches. For each reported change, you can see the name of the application and test, the operating system, browser, and viewport of the baseline, as well as when and by whom the source and target baselines were less updated. If you want to merge the baseline changes of the source branch into the target branch, you must first resolve all conflicts. You can do this by choosing to only take the changes in the source branch or only take those in the target branch. You can also compare the two baselines and update the source baseline to include the combined changes from both branches. Besides resolving conflicts, you can also ignore any changes you don't want to be merged by clicking the Ignore Change button. To perform the merge, click the Merge button. This will update the baselines of the target branch with all the changes you did not explicitly ask to ignore. To learn more about how to manage your baselines and branches, visit applitools.com docs.